Hello, everybody. Again, hope everything's going well. Hope, hope you're safe and healthy. You're not going too stir crazy for being inside so much. But um, again, we're going to go ahead and start with Chapter Nine, Section Three: Cylinders and Spheres. And again, I've created these videos. They aren't going to be more than seven minutes long, seven to eight minutes long. So you can watch them however you like. You can pause them. You can rewind them. You can stop and take some notes if you need to. Um, and at the end, I'll give you some practice exercises, and I will also make sure that the Blue Book pages with those exercises on them uh, are in your Google Classroom, okay? So let's get started. Uh, chapter 9, Section 3 is about cylinders and spheres. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, we'll hear your objectives, and again, they've been the same the last few sections, but we're going to identify solid figures, especially looking at cylinders and spheres. We're going to look at lateral area, total surface area, um, and also volume of these solid objects, cylinders and spheres, and then look at a couple practical problems. Okay. So if you want to go ahead and pause the video and read through this, uh, underline some important things, take some notes you can. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, what a cylinder, a cylinder is, it's a solid object, three-dimensional with two identical circle, circular bases. It's very similar to what a prism is. Actually, a cylinder is a prism with just circular bases. So all the formulas we had for prisms with the, the deal with lateral area, surface area, and volume will work also with cylinders. The altitude of a cylinder is the perpendicular distance between the bases. So if you have a cylinder here, it has to be perpendicular to the bases, but that is your altitude. It's actually the height of the cylinder. Okay. And we're only going to look at right cylinders, which means the uh, sidewalls are perpendicular to the circular base. Now, as I stated before, ladies and gentlemen, your formula sheet gives some pretty detailed formulas for finding lateral area and volume of a, uh, of a cylinder. However, I will tell you again, we can just go ahead and use the formulas we had for prisms. So, lateral area. If you were to, like say, take a can and cut the top and the bottom off and, and then cut down the side of it, open it up, basically your lateral area in a cylinder is just, again, a rectangle, just like it was with a prism. So, your lateral area is equal to the perimeter of your bases times your height. Now, the thing is, the, the perimeter of the bases Remember, these are circles. That's your perimeter right there of your, of your base. So, in essence, that is this length right here. All right? Well, again, what is that? That's just the circumference of the circle. So, circumference, remember, is 2 pi r, or in this case, pi times diameter. And then, of course, you have the height, the distance between the two bases, that, again, is just always labeled, it's the altitude label of H. So where, you know, you get this formula right here, it's basically saying this. To find this area right here, to find this lateral area, and that's all we're looking at is that rectangle there, take the perimeter of one of these circular bases, which is pi times diameter, and multiply it times the height of your cylinder. And again, this is the formula right here that they give you on your formula sheet. But again, as long as you remember perimeter of the base times height, you're okay, all right? Now, to find surface area, total surface area, well, you just take the lateral area, which you just found. Let me see what color I used. Well, I used black, okay? So you take your lateral area that you just found and just add in the area of the two bases. So basically, again, you're going to take your lateral area, which on your formula sheet, it's, it's, some, it's some more complicated formula, times the area of the base. And since there's two bases, you take it times two. Okay? Um, and, and like I said, we'll go through this here in a little bit and show you again. I, I don't want to make this too complicated. All right? So... Lateral area plus twice the area of the bases. That gives you your total surface area. Now, the one thing we have mentioned is volume. And basically, ladies and gentlemen, volume is just area of the base times the height. 
So you take the area of one of your circular bases, pi r squared, times the perpendicular height h. That's not too hard to do, especially when you find total surface area, you should already have that area of the base calculated. Now, these are the formulas that are given on your formula sheet. And by all means, you can use them if you want to. And you'll be able to use your formula sheet on a, any quiz. But, ladies and gentlemen, um, like I said, basically it comes down to these three formulas up here that you use for prisms will also work. All they did down here for these formulas, right there for your lateral area and your volume, is to just plug in pi, r, and h in the, in, for perimeter, for height, or so forth. And again, I don't like saying lateral surface area, I just like to say lateral area. Okay, so um, with that being said, I think the next video we're going to go ahead and look at an example of how to find lateral area, surface area, and volume of the cylinder. All right.